Satnam. Let's come into a comfortable seated position. So let your sitting bones be on a pillow or a folded blanket so that your hips are a little bit higher than your knees. Let's take a few grounding breaths. So allow your palms of your hands to rest facing down on your legs. And you can close the eyes. And just take a few slow breaths in and out through the nose, allowing the belly to expand on your inhales. And allow your exhales to simply relax out of you. And keep a slightly relaxed breath in and out through the nose as you bring the palms together and rub them together. <coughs> Let your hands come into stillness and just notice the energy that you've created. Draw this energy to your heart, pressing the knuckles of the thumbs into the little divot in the chest bone. This is a marma point for opening the heart. So nestle those thumbs in and gently lift up. And we'll tune in to our inner wisdom and the wisdom that exists everywhere with a mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo. So let's inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And we'll inhale for Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gently suspend this breath. Gazing at your third eye center between the two eyebrows. Exhale, let it go. And bring your pointer finger and thumb on each hand to touch. And then let the backs of the wrists rest on the knees. We'll come into a four part inhale, inhaling in four segments, and then we'll take a smooth exhale. This is for creating good positive energy. So let's take an inhale through the nose and then exhale. And inhale in four segments. Exhale, keep going. Try to make each four segments equal, little pauses in between.
And take two more and make them a little bit slower. And when you finish, simply inhale and suspend your breath allowing this pranayama to integrate into the body. When you're ready, exhale. Notice any sensations that arise. Bringing your fingertips to curl into the very first mounds of the hands and stretching your thumbs up. Keep this hand mudra as you reach the arms up <clears throat> 60 degrees from the horizon. So if this is the horizon and then 45 would be here, we're up a little bit higher than that at 60. Good, now let your shoulders drop. Allow your eyelids to close and gaze at the crown of your head. Beginning breath of fire, panting like a dog through the nose. You can always choose long, deep breathing instead of breath of fire. Otherwise, keep your breath of fire going and try to continue to gaze up at the crown. You are charging your entire electromagnetic field, your whole aura, releasing any excessive egoness that can happen, any excessive fear, worries, doubt. Inhale deeply, bring your thumb tips to touch over the head, stretch your fingers up, squeeze your spine. Inhale even more, squeeze even more, stretch up even higher. Exhale, slowly let your straight arms pass through your aura all the way to the earth. And notice your space. Bringing one hand over the heart and covering it with the other. And just honoring yourself for showing up today. Let's come into long deep breathing with the mantra Satnam. So as you inhale, you can draw your inhale down into the belly chamber first, then the ribs, then the chest, like you're filling up like a glass of water. And as you exhale, come back the way you came, releasing the breath from the chest, then the ribs, then the belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, and chest. 
Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. You're using about 75% of your breath capacity. You can layer on a very subtle ujjayi, contracting the throat just enough to hear your breath. And adding the mantra Sat Nam, Sat meaning truth, Nam meaning I am. Inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam. Keeping this breath throughout our warm up and throughout moments of our practice. Let's add the arms. Let them release to the ground on your exhale. As you inhale, sweep them out and up with wide fingers, like you're gathering energy. Your palms touch at the top, exhale, open them out and down. Inhale, sat rising. Exhale, nam, grounding. Creating balance. You can get even longer through the waist and the back on your inhales. Keep that length on the exhales. On your next exhale, let the right arm come down to the ground, left arm reaches over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, left arm comes down. Inhale, center. One more to each side. Pausing at center, holding the breath. Get even taller as you press down through the sitting bones. On an exhale, let your fingertips touch, bend the elbows as you bring any scattered energy right down through the body, smoothing it out. And one more time, inhale, reach the arms out and up. Fingertips touch, bringing energy down, smoothing. Keep your breath and we'll come up to standing. So today we're working a little bit on strengthening the back and relieving any pain that might be happening in the back of our body. So let's bring the big toes to gently touch and spread the rest of your toes wide. Allow your feet to ground into the earth and find that neutral position for your pelvis where you're not tilting back or tucking under too much. A neutral position and the knees are soft. Let your shoulders relax, palms face forward. And notice this position at mountain. The more that we're able to be in this position when we're standing throughout our day, the more we're able to gain strength in good posture and relieve any misalignment that's creating pain. 
Come back to your breath if you lost it. Keep this posture as you inhale, reaching out and up to the sky. Ribs tuck in towards the spine. Exhale as you hinge and fold, lengthening your spine as you bring your hands all the way to the earth. Inhale, gazing forward, hands can come to the shins. Good, keep this length in the spine as you exhale, folding again. Inhale, reaching all the way out and up. Ribs draw towards the spine as you reach, press down through the feet. Exhale, arms release out and down. One more like this, inhale. Reaching up. Keep that length as you exhale, hinging. Inhale, gazing forward, flat back. Exhale, bowing down. Inhale, reaching all the way out and up. Exhale, arms release. Adding triangle pose, inhale, reaching up. Keep that length, exhale, hinging. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, plant your hands into the floor as you walk your feet back into triangle pose. Wide fingers, pressing into the earth, your spine gets long as your heels of your feet start to sink towards the mat. Tuck the chin and allow your shoulder blades to glide away from the neck. Imagine that your armpits are trying to face each other underneath you. On an inhale, gaze it forward, gliding into high plank. Exhale, lower the knees, bend the elbows, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale, slithering forward into cobra. Beautiful, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips back up for triangle. You might have to shorten your stance a smidge. Tuck the chin. Wide fingers press into the whole hand, all the way into the fingertips. On an inhale, gaze it forward, walk it up, flat back. Exhale, folding. Inhale, reaching all the way out and up. Exhale, mountain. One more time. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, flying down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back into your triangle pose. Now, if you're confused about the shoulders, I'll just explain this a little bit more in detail. So your shoulders are relaxing down the back towards the tailbone, fingers are wide. And then notice how you can sort of rotate your armpits so that they try to face out and your shoulder blades squeeze together. And then you can also try to rotate your armpits so that they face in towards each other and the backs of your shoulders will spread wide. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the backs of the shoulders to be wide. Armpits will feel like they're facing one another. Take one more breath here. On an inhale, gazing forward, gliding into plank. Exhale, lower the knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, gliding forward onto the belly, cobra, lifting the heart up. Exhale, tuck the toes. 
triangle. Find that alignment in the shoulders. And then what happens if you press a tiny bit more into the hands and relax the heels of the feet? Last breath here, you're doing great. And on an inhale, walk it up, gaze it forward. Exhale, relax, bowing. Inhale, ride in your breath all the way out and up. Feet press down as you reach up. Exhale, returning to mountain where we first began. Beautiful, bring it down to seated. We'll do one more warm up before our Kriya. Sit with your legs in a V. Good. And inhale, reach the arms up at center. Exhale as you twist to the left and fold over the left leg. Hands come down. Good. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Keep going. Inhale, set. Exhale, low. You can even close the eyes as you do this. Opening that life nerve that runs up the backs of the legs. Last one. Inhale to center. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale, reach it up. Get even taller, lifting mole bond, pelvic floor, spreading through the fingers. Exhale, charging your space as you release the arms. Close the eyes, dive inward, notice any sensations. When you're ready, you can deepen your breath. And let's bring the legs into easy pose. So this Kriya is called the Kriya to make you enchantingly beautiful. And I think in our Western culture, especially, we tend to think of beauty as something that is on the outside. And this Kriya is very much about reminding us of our inner light and the beauty that comes from our inner person. And also what can happen when our light comes through is it literally flushes the face, cleanses the eyes so your eyes get a little bit brighter and nourishes the skin, our largest organ of the body. 
And so this Kriya really works on a lot of different aspects along with purifying the blood. So this easy pose, how I have my legs right now, is a great way to modify this next posture. So if sitting on your shins is not accessible to you, then I'm gonna ask you to be right here with the hands on the knees. If sitting on your shins is accessible, then you can come here. Some of you might even prefer a little pillow between the heels and the sitting bones. Either way, you can bring your hands down to the ground a little bit in front and a little bit to the side of your knees. Okay, now that you've found your posture, we're going to flex the spine, inhaling to flex the heart forward, exhaling to flex the heart back, inhaling sat, exhaling nam. Allow your own rhythm to develop. This can be slow, it can be fast, or somewhere in between. Keep it going. Let your mantra of Satnam be your music. If you can, speed it up a little bit for these last 20 seconds. Inhale, reaching the heart forward, shoulders glide down the back. Suspend your breath, lift your pelvic floor, and we'll bind. You're inviting your energy to rise from the tailbone up through the crown. When you're ready, exhale, release. Keep your legs in whichever position they began with and interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten in the elbows, try to reach the hands away from your back. Tuck the chin, nice long spine, long deep breathing. See if you can make the breath slow and nourishing. This will flush the face and the eyes cleaning the brain, cleaning the skin.
Last 10 seconds, see if you can reach those arms a little farther away from the back. Inhale deeply, lifting the pelvic floor. Exhale, release the arms. Release the legs, swinging them out in front of you. This next one will be balancing on our sitting bones, which ignites our navel point, this home of personal power just below the belly button. So first, just let your hands rest on the legs and begin to imagine a glowing light at the navel point, so just below the belly button. And then when you're ready, you can place the hands under the knees and help the legs up. Ideally, your legs are straight and you're trying not to lean back with your torso at all. Try to keep the heart lifted. The full expression of this pose has your hands on the floor like this. A great modification is to hold the legs and you can always play with it a little bit. Keep your breath, spread through those toes. Notice the whole belly, whole back working here. Inner organs are getting a massage with your breath. One more minute, you're halfway through. Smile with it. You can always take a break and come out and then come back in when you're ready. Thirty seconds. Five seconds, four, three, two. One, inhale deeply, come into your best pose. Lift the pelvic floor, help this integrate. Exhale, relax. Draw the knees in like this. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, the full expression of this pose has your hands on the floor and your feet are hovering over the earth. A great modification is to hug them in. Keep lengthening up through the spine, chin tucks, breath of fire, panting like a dog through the nose. 
Again, if breath of fire doesn't feel right for you today, please choose long deep breathing instead. Beautiful, keep going. Notice how that navel point is dancing in and out. See if you can rise a tiny bit taller through the heart. Inhale deeply. Lift the pelvic floor, mul bund, get taller. Imagine energy rising up the spine through the crown. Exhale, relax your legs out long. Inhale, reach it up. Flex your feet, exhale, hinging at the waist, reach your hands for your toes. You can hold on to the ankles or shins, or you can come into yogi toe lock, taking your first two fingers and wrapping it around the big toe. And then take your thumb and press it into the bed of your big toenail where your toenail and toe meet. Now, naturally, we want to just fold here, but in this particular Kriya, we're going to press down a little bit through the legs, lengthen up through the spine, let your shoulders glide down the back, tuck your chin, and gaze at your third eye center between the two eyebrows as you breathe long and deep. You can imagine that your third eye center is the light of a star shining inward and outward. As you breathe, maybe this inner light and outer light around you gets stronger. Adding the mantra hum, H-U-M, which means we. Moving out of a singular state into a state of unity. Keep this same posture, it should feel a little bit tight. Let's inhale for hum. Oh. Uh... 
smoothly and suspend this breath. Exhale, relax completely, lying on the back in Shavasana, final resting pose. You can cover the body with a blanket. Let your legs be slightly separated, arms are resting by the sides, with the palms facing up to the sky. And this is where we let everything go and surrender all the effort, allowing the body to integrate the benefits of our practice and the unity that we share.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Make a little circle with the wrists and the ankles in each direction. Stretch the arms up over the head, getting long. Hug your knees into the chest and rock them around. And taking a cat stretch, you can keep your right knee hugged in as you relax your left leg out long. And take this right knee across the body into a cat stretch. Supine twist. Releasing this side, hugging the other knee in, and twisting in the other direction. When you're ready, releasing out. Hug both knees in and let the knees open wide. And we'll bring the soles of the feet together and the palms of the hands together. And then rub your feet and your hands against each other, sealing off these prana exits in the hands and feet. Release the feet, bring the hands over the eyes, open the eyes into the darkness of the hands and allow the energy that you've created to steep into the eyes, clearing them even more. Slowly let a little bit of light in at a time drawing the outside edges, the pinky edges of the hands together as they slowly rise up over the face. Eventually releasing. You can roll over to one side and sit up, or you can hug the knees in and take a couple rocks up and down. Coming up to see it. Nice straight spine. Let's take just a couple of minutes to, excuse me, to chant the mantra OM, O-N-G. Let it resonate in your skull, in your sinuses, in your third eye center. Hands can be resting in the lap or in Gyan Mudra. This mantra Om is the sound of the universe, and it's very much the active sound. So bringing that sound of the universe right through your body into this present moment. Let's inhale to begin.
Noticing where you'd like to send the benefits of your practice to today. Maybe to someone or something. And bring your palms together at heart center where we first began to tune in. And see the benefits of your practice going to this someone or someplace as we sing the long time song. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Inhale with me. Honoring all of the teachers before us who have passed down this practice and honoring the greatest teacher of all which exists inside of you. With Satnam, we recognize the unity that we are. Truth I am, in a sense, united I am. Thank you all so much for being here today. I love you guys. Good job. Thank you, Liza. You're so welcome. Well, have a, a wonderful week, and I'll see you Sunday morning. See you Sunday. Okay. Thank you. Have safe travels, Kiki. Thank you. I'm coming back tomorrow. Yay. Love you guys. Love you, Candy. Thanks.